Alright, now it's time for the map extraction. Which isn't as painful, by the way. First off, I would go like this and switch over to flat shading and wireframe. Just a little easier to grab things at a distance. Then, go to your object list. Have UV image added on. And I know these are my meshes. Nail 1 and washer 1. The rest of the nails and washers are actually on top of each other, so I'm just going to only use those two as far as the UVs on top of each other. Now, when you highlight two of these, it doesn't show up over here. For, you can only see one at a time. So if I have this one and this one highlighted, it's only going to show my last one. So I'm going to hold Shift. Get those two. Then I'm holding control for these other ones. Again, I'm just looking to see if they're represented over here with a shell. See bone seven? That's my, um, it's one that's not showing up and I don't need it. There we go. So each one has its own shell. If it doesn't have its own shell, it will not work. Okay. So extract normal maps. New operation. I'm going to use normal map. I'm going to say add selected. Add selected. Make sure you're using subdivision. Make sure you're using generate one to all targets. 2048. This doesn't really matter. I'm going to convert it, or not convert it, I don't want to convert it over to 8-bit, so I'm going to be using ping this time. I'll be saving that out of Photoshop anyway. Okay, so let the whirl, whirly engines go. Okay, so now we should be able to go to Photoshop and we should be able to go to open that. Bam, there's a normal map going across all objects. The same can be done for textures, the same can be done for specularity, it's just like the skull. So. That's all I wanted to show you is how to generate a map going across all objects. Now, what I would probably suggest is doing the uh, ambient occlusion also. While everything is highlighted, you can go in here to uh, extract maps, new operation, go to ambient occlusion, add selected, and you want like the best subdivision. Now this is the shadow map resolution. I will also match that. That's going to take a long time. Uh, then I'll generate this. I'll call this bone 1 OC. All right. Now we can extract this. This is going to take a little bit of time. So actually, I'll meet you in the next video where we can kind of put this hot mess uh, to rest in that video.